and they're just, they're too fun. Like, like, come on. Back on to the Z. It's been hiding in my backyard for four months. See, she's still there. My dog actually slides across the hood to bark at people underneath the, uh, the fence. So, you know. <laughs> you might be wondering what we're gonna do. And I mean, the list is long for things this car needs, but I think it needs brakes before we go any further because it doesn't really have a pedal. And we're not stopping. We're really gonna roll through that stop sign. Yeah. The power steering doesn't feel very good either. So we're gonna take this thing up to the uh, shop we're gonna see if we can fix them. Make it drivable. And the window switch doesn't work either, so. Yeah. So we got the Z in the garage. It's not gonna be very... Just give me a minute. Finally! We're back on the Z, no more D21 content. As I was driving this in here, I discovered that there is a pretty severe power steering leak. We'll need to address that, along with the door and the master cylinder, uh, run through the fluids again, take a look at everything underneath. I kinda wanna do some bushings and stuff like that. It just depends on how expensive they are because I don't really feel like spending $300 on bushings. This thing drives like a bag of bricks anyway, so it's not, you know, it's not that important to me. And get it cleaned up a little bit. I really wanna put a new dash in this thing, so if anyone has a dash that is not cracked, that is preferably black or blue, I'll buy it. Not for $600, just let me know what you have, um, or if you have a solution to fix the dash, because it is crusty, and every time I hit a bump, it just shoots stuff off of it, and it's, I'm getting tired of it. It's probably asbestos, so uh, we need to fix that, too. Get this thing in the air and take a look at it. I'm sure we're going to find other stuff, too, because, you know, it's like 30-something years old. It's old, okay? Is this not stay up, bro? Oh, it doesn't even stay up. I remember. Check it out. I remember this from when we put the turbo on it. We got a leak at this master cylinder. And I don't know where it's leaking, but it's a problem. God, I hate these motors so much. This thing is such a piece of shit. The sad thing is they don't even make enough power to blow up. So it's never gonna blow up. All right. I thought it was leaking out the seals from the reservoir to the cylinder itself. Looks like it's leaking out of the bore. So we're gonna take the lines off, get that off, and see if we can find a rebuild kit because I don't feel like buying a new one. You know what I mean? Good thing about this is you don't have to drain it because it's empty. Bad part, we're gonna have to re-bleed the brakes. And that's pretty lame. You can see it's been leaking against the booster. All the paint is basically coming off, so. I'm gonna have to get the master cylinder resealed and clean this up. We'll need to get the rail painted and the inner fender here all painted up so it's not gonna rust. Uh, and then get us a heat shield in between the turbo and the lines to prevent brake fade. Brake fade really hasn't been an issue, but it might be once I start to track the car. I'm thinking about putting it into a time attack series here in Albuquerque at the racetrack. I've never been there, and I, I'm pretty sure this will be in like A class. I think it'll be fun. I just definitely need some new tires though, because these things are dry. <laughs> Online, you can get these for like 90 bucks, but it takes like a week to get them, and I didn't realize that. So we're gonna try and fix this outer seal. The cylinder doesn't bleed down. Um, there's no nothing wrong, but the seal at the end of it is leaking onto the brake booster. So we're gonna pop off this clip, see if we can get an O-ring out of this set to plug in. You might ask me, uh, have I ever rebuilt a master cylinder? No. No, I have not. Are we gonna figure out if I can today? Yes. So, let's see here. Looks like there's a simple O-ring on the back. So we got the old one off. It actually doesn't feel too bad, but. Do you think they're even brake fluid compatible? Probably not. Okay, I know these aren't the right 
style, but you never know. Ah, it's close, dude. She's close. It actually pops in like, see it? I think that's a, that's a winner. You bend these tabs back in and then just pop it on. So, okay, well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so now we're gonna clean it up and uh, get this frame rail cleaned up. Oh wow, she's been leaking for a while there, dude. This is the one thing about the VG motor. God, there is just no room in here, man. If you could put a motor in here, not an LS, what would it be? An LS would be fun and it'd be way easier to work on. I think I'd probably go with the KA. Kind of partial, you know what I mean? I've got two KAs now. One's turbo and it is just a ripper. I wonder what Michelle Lujan Grisham's doing right now. If you're not from New Mexico, or you just don't follow the news, our governor uh, suspended the Second Amendment. <laughs> if you can believe that. So make sure you spread the turbo, get it nice and gray. And now our rebuilt master cylinder goes back in. <laughs> make sure you spray the threads on the fittings, because that's always good. All right, let's get some fluid in here and wait till we have someone else to bleed it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pump the pedal just to see if it leaks or not. And before we go through the trouble of bleeding it, I'll pump it uh, and then we'll wait overnight. And it, if it's gonna seal, it should seal. And if not, you'll know it'll just start dripping down the freshly painted rail. No, we should have bench bled it, but bench bleeding is so messy. And it's like, if you just have a little Mighty Vac, you just suck all the lines clear. You know, it's fine. Clean out the lines, it's fine. And now we wait. While we wait for that to leak, we're gonna get it up in the air. We're gonna take a look at that power steering leak. Hopefully we can just swap a line. But it's never that simple. Oh, I forgot this thing has a belly pan on it. Well, you can see by the power steering fluid on the ground and whatever that liquid is over there. Brake fluid, probably? that we have a problem. Like I said, it looks like it's gonna be leaking right out of the end of this steering input. Uh, I told you it wouldn't just be a line. Come on, dude. Well, we're here, we gotta do it. So I'm gonna take out the steering and pull off the face, pull that seal out, replace that first, and then clean it up, fill it, start it, run it, and probably replace Oh, uh, God, let's not even get into that. Hopefully, it is, that's it. No more. All you need when working on these old Nissans is a framing hammer and a pipe wrench. All right, we're gonna turn this thing on and get it up in the air so we can start to look for the power steering leak. Uh, I know it's leaking out of the rack for sure, but I'm not too overly concerned about that. I might buy a rebuild kit and rebuild the rack eventually. That just doesn't sound very fun, so. But we're gonna start by pulling off the lines and get this housing off. I'm hoping we can just source the one seal for now. I know these are leaking pretty good, but they're not actively dripping. It's come more of a seepage. So for now, we're just gonna get this fixed and then I'll order the full rebuild kit. Hopefully, it's not expensive. I think I did the whole turbo swap for like a couple hundred bucks because I sourced all the parts here locally, which is pretty cool. Just to find a new rack, it's pretty hard. It's pretty difficult to do. get this thing cleaned up and hopefully we can find this seal. I have no idea where we're gonna find it, but. 
Now you're gonna get yourself a 17 mil and get this seal out of here. And that's what she looks like. Now we go hope we can find one. So, after searching everywhere, I found a seal that should be pretty close. It's the 7,000. Um, it looks to be correct. I don't know. We're going to put it in. And it was the last one in town, so better work. All right, so what I found is 7 sixteenths fits perfectly. Don't be afraid. Hit it with your purse. Check it out, my friends. Nice and set. Good to go. So I think we got it resolved so far. I know it sounds like it's knocking, but it's actually just the uh, blow off valve hitting the shock tower. Because <laughs> VGs, man, they're just too big. Everything else looks good though. Now we're gonna bleed the brakes and take it for a ride and hopefully that master cylinder doesn't leak. <laughs> so we used the Mighty Vac and we just bled all four tires. I mean, they're, the pedals feels great. And the master cylinder's not leaking yet, so. Next thing is this door. I gotta fix this latch. I don't know where that trim piece went, but it would be nice to have that. I gotta redo this interior <sighs> at some point, because it just doesn't look good, you know? Okay. I don't even know what's in here. Phillips screws, of course. <laughs> I'm just like built with like recycled paper. <laughs> what happened, dude? It broke. Perfectly clean. <laughs> Alright, so here's the deal. This little doodad is for the latch. And it's supposed to be like so. And it is not anymore. So, basically goes in here. And it loops around that bar like that one. So, you're never going to get this to glue back together. But, I'm going to drill a hole, loop some bailing wire around it, set it back into place. Bada bing, brand new. And hopefully it should stay together inside the mechanism. Only one way to find out, huh? What a stupid design. That's my contraption, eh? Should work, maybe. All right, check it out. Boom. Good as new. Nice. Nice. These brakes are fantastic. The steering, perfect. No leaks, but we did break down on the side of the road last night. <laughs> it got a little late, so I didn't uh, record the driving portion. 
and we decided to take the rig out and go to a little party. Decided to take it out, go downtown, and uh, yeah, broke down the side of the road. So, this morning, we are going to figure out why the fuel pump isn't working. And uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me show you how this works. That is a Band-Aid holding wires to the fuel pump to keep the fuel pump running. And that's how you start it. <laughs> so yeah, you know, you do what you, do what you gotta do here. Put, the, put that on there, pump's running. Okay, found this in the road when we broke down, so that's cool. Five. Oh my god, I like all this shit in here. There is a fuel pump fuse. 10 amp, top left, second from the top. All right, well, it's running. Fuel pump's on. Well, I wish I had a better story to tell. Uh, yeah, I just didn't check the right fuse. Gotta love that sh Did all that for nothing. Fuck. <laughs> but the internet is telling me that everybody relocates the fuel pump relay. So before we do take this car on road trips, I'll probably have to relocate that relay just in case we have any issues with it in the future. Probably check the fuel pump too. I don't know if it's original, but if it is, we're gonna have to change that too but we've developed a new power steering leak on one of the lines. So we're gonna go stick this thing on the rack and fix that, hopefully. Hopefully it's not the pre-made line that looks expensive. <laughs> license should have to drive a like this and we're back I don't think it's dripping out of the steering shaft so that's good it's always something with this car right so it looks like we're good no drips some right there and there but this pan's in the way, so let's pull the pan out. Oh! Brother! Well, it looks like it's leaking directly from the power steering pump. So, let's pull it out, see if we can get a new seal for the pulley. I think we'll get lucky finding the uh, seal for that. Probably not. We used all of our luck on the input shaft on the steering column. Mmm. It's just pouring out of this seal right here. Of course, we fix one and then the next one just goes out. That's how it works. We'll get all the fluid out of here before it makes a huge mess. Oh. Holy that thing's on there. Holy shit, dude. Wow. I'm surprised we didn't completely ruin that. I think it's probably never been taken off. Bolt looks good. We got a suction this thing down, right? <laughs> Hate working on VGs, man. God! Beautiful. Let's open this up, see if we can find some parts, get this thing put back together. 
This is what you have to do when you drive a classic car. Okay, with like three picks and some screwdrivers, if you don't have uh, snap ring pliers, you can get the snap ring out. It's a pain in the ass, but it comes out. And now you just take a big screwdriver and you stick it in between the seal and the pump housing. And you push down. There's your seal. Now let's go see if we can find one. All right, so we just looked it up. It's going to be a week to get the seal kit. No one has one. There's no cross-referencing anything between models. So we're stuck. But we almost had it running. I, I ran it for like three hours last night that I didn't record anything. But, you know, we fix one seal and then the other one pops. It's not like it's going to be a line or something easy. It's always something difficult. That'll be it for this video. The next video, we're going to take the engine out of the black truck. We're going to get rid of the truck because I don't even want it anymore. And we're going to start planning the new project for that new motor. You may have seen the new chassis in one of the videos in the background. Hopefully get that project underway and get back into some drifting, you know, because that's what I'm here for. I want to drift shit boxes.